Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a monthly tarot reading for my Leos. Hi my Leos. I want to apologize for you guys for my lateness. I have already done your September 2019 tarot reading but for some reason after spending hours day and night trying to upload them, my software couldn't allow it so I have to redo them and this would be a mid-month tarot reading for you my Leos. And also, if you like to book me for a private reading, you could book me directly on my Facebook page. Information is below the video. Please share, like, and comment. I always respond to the comment. And before recording your reading, I always meditate and ask spirit for guidance. The information on the card, the tarot deck I'm using will be below the video. And so now, my Leos, let's see what we have in store for you for mid-month September 2019 close to the full moon in Pisces which will be in your 8th house for some of you will be also in your 7th house depending on the degree and so let's see what we have page of swords 9 of rods in reverse 6 of rods in reverse ace of Swords in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, and Two of Cups in reverse. Lots of reverse. What is happening for you, my Leos? I feel that uh, you want to say something. You want to start communicating with some with someone. It's regard to some relationship. It could be with a partner. Okay. I mean, there is there was a lot of. Um, you know, some there, there could have been a lot of dispute or challenges for you, uh, my Leos, for the months, actually for since the beginning of the year, because of that Saturn in your sixth house, sixth house is house of dispute and um, realities, okay, challenges, day-to-day -day routine. So Saturn in Capricorn in your sixth house is like a huge, um, it's it's threatening that house is very strong in the sixth house okay here with a page of swords looking at the nine of rods in reverse i feel that you are really done you feel that you have tried your best in some type of relationship tried to mend uh fences tried to really build stronger foundation between you and another but there is a lack of communication here with the ace of swords in reverse you're not really getting what you're putting out. And that happens a lot for my Leos. Leos have a lot of energies. And sometimes you're trying to move on, uh, move a relationship forward. And it's just the other person may not be um, willing to do so. Okay. The Ace of Swords in reverse is looking at the King of Cups in reverse. So this could be uh, in some partnership. It could be at work. It could be in your family or more. Uh, or more importantly, in your intimate relationship, personal relationship, there could have been some um, distance between you and another, okay? And it seems that, you know, there is things that are unsaid. I feel that you are willing to really do the work, but, you know, it takes two. With the King of Cups in reverse, uh, just below the Nine of Rods, it's like you're not receiving as you're not feeling that you're you're being uh, heard. And not only that, you're feeling that you're doing, you're overworked. You have been working hard and diligently in order to move something forward, okay? Maybe there was some dispute and you tried to go over that or you tried to go beyond that and move on. And the other party, like I said, it could be in different areas of your life. Maybe it's at work, maybe there's some dispute or maybe there's some clients that you're dealing with that could have been, you know, expressing their, um, their dis, you know, maybe they are displeased with some, some, something, or maybe you are displeased because it, it goes both ways, right? Maybe you're the one displeased in that relationship, but I feel that it's strongly related to, uh, you know, maybe a business one-on-one -on -one relationship or maybe a personal relationship because the two of cups came, is coming out in reverse, and it's, it's really below the Six of, of Swords. The Six of Swords in the right position. Let me show you this card. This is about moving on, crossing a bridge, you know, 
leaving things behind, looking forward for better and bigger things. But in reverse, it could be that you or someone else in that relationship is having issues moving on. It doesn't mean moving on like, you know, separating. It, it just could be moving on from whatever the issue is, you know, just trying to go forward, you know, trying to find a middle ground and move forward. Someone is still somehow stuck, okay? And you are really still looking forward. You're making small steps, okay, to try to really get beyond that. But there's a lot of opposition around you, my Leos. Opposition. Let me see. Let me clarify the nine of rods here. The queen of swords in reverse. The four of cups, okay? I feel that it could have been maybe a mistake that was done. Okay, and your partner or maybe your business partner or maybe someone in your family is not really willing to go beyond that. Okay, um, let me see. See, the king of cups and the queen of cups, those are two different type of energies. They don't really, you know, they don't, they're not really compatible, okay, because the, the queen of swords is really more direct okay but in reverse she really is not willing to talk she's not she doesn't want to get into a conversation she's not interested her mind is somewhere else she's concerned with something else she may be very irate this one the queen of swords when she's irate she is not budging it's a very fixed energy that could represent someone a female it could be someone with uh uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy around, okay? And the two of you are really, there is a distance between you and that person. And the distance is really mainly in terms of communicating. So maybe she's holding or someone, it could be a male, it could be a very feminine male energy, okay? Maybe there's a man who's holding some information, holding conversation, holding thoughts, holding communication from you. Something is not being said. I'm not sure. I don't think something is being hidden. I think it's just the unwillingness from that party to really open and discuss the issue. Let me clarify uh, the Ace of Swords in reverse. Page of Rocks. Ooh. See, my Leos? You really try to... Re because that has some type of effect on you, okay? But you're really trying to move forward with that, okay? You're trying to uh, correct the wrong. Doesn't mean that you have done the wrong. You could have. Maybe you're the one who admitted saying something. Because it has to do with a conversation. It has to do with some information that was said or some information that was not said, okay? So whatever the issue is, if... You're the one who has been holding information, or if you're feeling someone has been is withholding communication from you, it does show that in mid-September it's not going to be resolved. Okay, only because it takes two. You are willing. You're making small steps. I think with the page of swords, it's more that you're open. Maybe you're not necessarily communicating, but you're open for communication. You're not. Uh, you know, you may not be saying a whole lot, but you're definitely present, okay? But with the uh, Ten of Rods in reverse and the um, Eight of Rods in reverse, it's just the energy is really not going in the same direction. It's like you're pushing, you're pushing really hard, and it's just not really bringing the changes that you're looking for. Again, the Page of Rods here is the... You having a position where you feeling very open. You're open. Other doors are open for whoever needs to talk to you or wants to go back to their words. Um, let me clarify the King of Cups here. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It could have been in terms of business. I see that could be like a business relationship. Maybe one of your clients is not happy or maybe you have done something or your client is in in a position where they are maybe losing some money maybe there is an offer that was taken out there, there was an offer on the table that was taken out and the offer could have been an offer for partnership an offer for uh love because it's the king of of cups with the ace of pentacles there's no growth here 
okay because normally water and and earth make things grow right but they're both reversed here in the present position showing that there's a lack of growth oh my leos what is going on you're dealing with someone who's very stubborn someone who's stuck in their position not sure what it is i feel that there is like really like a huge difference of views a fundamental difference of view of views between you and whoever that person is the other party is maybe the family is thinking different than you they don't agree with you and someone stepped in and you know there's like a some type of um boundaries okay limitation that is put upon you which prevents you to go, to move forward clarify here i love i mean normally the six of swords is a good energy card i like it because it's just like when you know things are ending and you just agree to move on but with the reverse it's it's showing that this issue is not resolved it's, it seems to be something that's i'm not sure if it's important to you or more important to the other person king of pentacle the magician high priestess wow okay Okay, someone is planning. I feel that someone is planning this. You know, if you're dealing with a family member or a, a intimate relationship, someone is getting advice from someone else. And the advice that they're giving is, is, is doesn't seem to be towards a resolution in the issue that you're having. Okay, the advice that they're receiving is to solidify their position. They're, they're feeling stronger in 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 them just not really communicating with you or maybe you feel stronger and not communicating with them but i don't feel that about you leo i feel that it's coming from the other party okay the high priestess next to the the magician see the magician is in reverse see that you know there is really an unwillingness to really move on to really you know, use the tools or use the ability, communication, love, anything to really move on from a certain place in your partnership or in your relationship. Like I said, it could be also in your family life. Okay. The magician in reverse is when someone is not willing. There's a lot of negativity. The magician in reverse is someone who's negative normally. Someone who has negative, negative thoughts or negative vision. Okay. But the King of Pentacles and the High Priestess showing here, I feel that that person, it shows that that person or the group, it could be a group, is solidifying them, their position, okay? Against maybe the issue, maybe it's solidifying their position against you. Maybe that person is looking to get advice from someone else and that third party is telling them, well, you're right, you know, just don't do anything stay there and you know you know instead of going to the source which is going back to the page of swords she, that person men or women is like just moving forward okay there's like a moving on but there's some amount of loss here could be a love to, a loss of a relationship friendship partnership fr like there's someone who's but it's i feel that it's temporary because it's in reverse but they're looking it's in the future okay they haven't done so but they're thinking about it clarify the two of, of cups in reverse nine of cups and the five of pentacles it's really sad because it's really it was a really good partnership or there's a good partnership it could still it's, it could be someone that you're currently in a relationship my leos or there's a relationship that you're trying to build with someone okay but it's going through some struggle right now someone feel left out or someone feel someone is is feeling as if there's something that was done against them or something that was done or said against them that's making them feel very insecure okay it seems to be it has to do with a conversation if it's not a conversation maybe it's a promise that was made or an agreement that was made okay and the agreement couldn't pursued couldn't be pursued couldn't be finalized and it's all falling down your your shoulder you're willing to look for a solution 
but it takes two. You're the only one really truly walking towards, you know, a resolution. The other party, whoever they are, could be, again, your family member, business partner, a friend, a romantic partner is really not budging. Actually, they are looking to move on. Okay, but there, they, there's a detachment going on right now with a, a huge lack of communication. Okay, the five of pentacles in the future um, shows that, you know, there's some type of breach. There was some type of breach. Like I said, maybe there was a promise made or maybe some agreement couldn't really hold, you know, and maybe you made a decision without consulting that person or you have said something, done something, and it's coming out, especially with the full moon in Pisces. And there really, it's just really like someone is like, someone where you both care for each other, both really have a lot of appreciation for each other, is now just this bond is kind of like ending. Okay, This is not a, a, a negative reading, my Leos. Okay? It seems that you know this is a time period, especially with Virgos, uh, energy Virgos is all about getting things done if something or someone has to leave your life let them leave okay but I do see some transformation personal transformation in in regards to your relationship okay so I'm going to use my other deck to clarify the last part of this reading mainly what I want to clarify is the page of swords here three of swords you are heartbroken some deception, someone, some deception. I think it has to do with something that was said. It has to do with something that was done. It's not just an impression or a feeling. It's concrete. There is some type of, um, I would say, maybe unauthorized or something that was not agreed upon or ahead of time. And someone went forward with that. The other party is not happy, feeling that they are at a loss, loss of resource. They lost their time. Maybe they lost their money. They lost some type of resource because of that. Lack of communication here with that partnership, with that relationship. Someone is looking to move on, crossing a bridge, want to put that behind them. But the other party is just want to severe ties, okay? We clarify the three of swords with the two of swords. See, it's just a, a difficult position to be here uh, this month or the mid month September for some of my Leos. The two of swords is just not you not getting the clarity. You're not understanding really. See, when you have a full moon in your eighth house in Pisces, especially you know the Neptune currently uh, in Pisces going retrograde. Is a lot of things coming out that that are really emotional that you may not really understand how where the other party is coming from because it seems to be something that's hurting someone more than it really has to. Okay, so that's something that you cannot really, maybe not, you don't really understand. But what I recommend with the energy that I see for you, my Leos, for mid months. Uh, the rest of September is really, really to continue your your openness, uh, continue having an open heart and a willingness to communicate. I feel that in due time, probably in October, October once there's a lot of uh, a planet that move into Libra, which is a third house of communication. You'll have a better understanding and a better way to really find a communication uh, a ground to communicate with whatever party is actually affected okay because i don't really see the fault of it all but i really do see misunderstanding like i said something that was said that could have been or something that wasn't said in time or there's some type of misunderstanding here but i'm going to end this reading here for you my leos let me know how this resonated with you until next time send me lots of kisses i love you